Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at ISC 2016 in Frankfurt, Germany, and we're here at the Hewlett Packard Enterprise booth with Greg. It's been a while. How are you doing, sir? I'm well, Rich. It's good to see you again. I, yeah, it's been since GC, GTC last April. That's right, GTC, and uh, your uh, server device here was uh, fresh out of the factory, uh, but we have some updates, I understand. Yep, we do have a few updates. Most recently, the Apollo 6500 is going to be supporting uh, the NVIDIA Tesla P100 in the PCI Express version. This was just announced by NVIDIA this week at the International Supercomputing Event 2016. For those of you who don't remember the Apollo 6500, it's uh, three components to our solution. We've got the Apollo 6500 as a chassis, 4U chassis, supports two of these 2U server trays, and a power shelf to power everything. In the 2U server tray, this is the XL270D. It supports up to eight full-length GPUs from NVIDIA or AMD, Intel Xeon Phi, all the major vendors. Again, eight GPUs and a 2U form factor. Some folks say, Greg, how do you cool those? Some of the, these are putting out like 300 watts a piece. Yeah, eight, eight of these at 300 watts a piece, it's like two and a half kilowatts in a 2U tray, add in the you know, system memory, CPU, you're at about 3.2 kilowatts in a 2U tray. But we designed this to handle hotter. We actually designed the thermal envelope around 350 watt GPUs, so we can support all of the major compute GPUs out there in the market today. Eight of them, K80, M40, new P100s, everything. Wow. wow. So a lot of compute density in a very small package. Yep. How, how do you remove that heat? Do you use water or blow a lot of air? What do you do? Uh, it's blowing a lot of air. We've got this fit the, the ProLiant server tray yep. here. Yeah fits inside of a chassis, two of them do a chassis, and in the back we've got eight fans. They're blowing about 400 cubic feet a minute when we're running. <laughs> and, and if you think about it, two of these in a, in a chassis is roughly seven kilowatts. All right, Greg, so with, with all that computational capability in a very small space, uh, how do you get the data in and out of this thing? That's often a problem. What we have in, what we've set up is a PCI Express fabric in the box and then we're wiring into the fabric with two full low profile by 16 PCI Express cards for your choice of full support of InfiniBand EDR, FDR, Intel's new Omnipath architecture, or just high speed ethernet. Plenty of bandwidth in and out. So here we are, we're a couple months later. How's the uptake on this been? Are you a lot of product interest out here? Rich, <laughs> the product interest is phenomenal. We actually uh, had so much demand that we We've got one customer sucking up our first month and a half of build. We're very happy about it. I've got customers around the world building a strong pipeline. Um, there's been a ton of demand. It's an easy box. Their customers want eight GPUs in a box for deep learning, reverse time migration in geo, et cetera. HP's there to deliver.